So a boiling point. The definition of it is that the vapor pressure above a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So we can make a few predictions just based on this definition. The atmospheric pressure, uh, if we reduced it, it would reduce the boiling point because uh, they're both correlated. So to illustrate this, let's say we have a beaker. And in that beaker, we have liquid. OK, so we have liquid. And we have all these water molecules in here. And I think a big thing about chemistry is that um, we, we try to see everything as abstract. In reality, that all these things happen, and we just have to imagine it as really small molecules. So in reality, um, all these molecules are moving. They're all, they're all, like, they're all moving around. Uh, they all have motion. And above it is air. And there's in the air are little molecules. And you can just imagine them as little balls, right? So above the atmosphere, let's say we have, um, let's say at one atmosphere, we have this, we have, um, let's say 10, 10 um, atmosphere um, molecules, right? So everything's moving. Um, all these molecules are moving, all these molecules are moving. So what happens? So we start heating it up. We start, we start heating up, um, we start heating up this water. So right here we start heating it up. Um, and so we're adding energy, right? So what happens? So this, this heat um, goes up to this water and starts increasing, increasing the amount of energy that these water molecules have. So what do these water molecules do? They hit the surface, right? And at the surface right here, at, at where the water and the, um, at the, where the water and the air meets, uh, it's hitting all these molecules. The, the air, the water molecules are hitting the air molecules. And so they're transferring their energy to the air molecules. So the more air molecules, the more transfer of um, the more transfer of energy, right? Because if all these molecules are moving, if this one's hitting, and this one hits this one, then its energy gets passed on to the air, and therefore, since the energy got passed on, it's not going to boil. But let's say we reduced the amount of um, we reduced the amount of air molecules, so. Um, let's say we create a new drawing. Okay, so we create, we create a new drawing. And let's say, here's our water. Oh, we have all these molecules at the very surface. And let's say we have fewer air molecules, right? We just have a few, we, right there. So, so the, when we heat it up, when we heat the bottom, um, energy is being put into the to the water molecules. These water molecules are gaining energy, meaning that they're, they're moving faster. The faster they move, the faster they want to escape, right? Because that's boiling point. It's changing from a liquid to a gas, so it's it wants to escape. Um, so here, it, when it wants to escape, it can't because it ends up hitting the air molecule, and then it's the water molecule slows down because the energy was transferred to the air. But here, let's say this this um, uh, water molecule right here, right? It it goes and hits the surface, and nothing's stopping it, right? So it's going to escape. So what does that mean? It means that it means that here, if this was one atmosphere, right? One atmosphere pressure. When when we say one atmosphere, it just means pressure. And what is pressure? Pressure is just the amount of air molecules, right? Because the more air molecules, the more uh, the more pressure they create because the more the more times they hit this the wall uh, because if you if you had if you had these ten hit a wall they'd be it'd be more pressure than if just four hit the wall so at one atmosphere the boiling point of water would be a hundred uh, Celsius right and let's say here here since we have fewer air that means the pressure is lower so let's say it's 0.5 atmospheres. And let's and because of that, um, since it's a lower pressure, these the when the um, 
when the energy is being put into the water and the water is moving faster, it's going to try to escape and it will because there's no air to stop it because the, the, the air, the pressure is less. So these water molecules are going to escape. So that means that the boiling point is going to be less because if we take the same amount of energy, it's going to take less energy to push this out. Because here, every, if we just put in like a certain amount of energy, it's going to be stopped by all of these air molecules. But here, the same amount of energy will create all these water molecules to leave. So that means the boiling point for this is going to be less. Let's say it's 70, 70 Celsius, 70 degrees Celsius. So that means that, uh, that means that boiling point is reduces, um, reduces when you in, when you decrease the atmospheric pressure. So the less the less the less atmospheric pressure you have, the lower the boiling point, and uh, the the reverse uh, happens too. Let's say you have even more air molecules. That means the boiling point has to increase because you have to put more energy in for these water molecules to escape. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.